Hello everyone, welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today I'm going to take you step by step and show you how to do a face cast. To do this project you will need some mud rock. Here I've cut some into small pieces but you do get the mud rock in rolls like this. A bowl of water. Some petroleum jelly, Vaseline. I've got here a jug of water, plaster of Paris, baby wipes. Here I've got a shower cap. You can use a plastic bag or some clean film and some sandpaper. So these are all the things you will need. So let's get started. Today I've convinced my husband to take part in my episode. First you want to get rid of any um, makeup, dirt on the face, so you want to give it a good wipe. Next you want to apply some Vaseline and put some extra Vaseline where the eyebrows, eyelashes or facial hair. Put the mud rock in water and apply it on the face. Create a nice smooth finish by just rubbing gently. Cover the nose, but don't cover the holes because you want the person to breathe, of course. And you just want to continue by covering the eyes. And there you have it, now you have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry before you lift it off. Be careful and lift it off gently. And there you have it, you have your mould. My final preparation for the mould is just placing some more Vaseline inside just to make sure that it doesn't stick too much to the plaster I'm about to pour in. Now I am mixing the plaster with the water and you want to uh, mix about two parts powder, one part water.
when you are mixing the mixture mix it very carefully do not beat the mixture because this will produce air bubbles um, just get rid of any lumps that you see and make it nice and smooth once you've placed it make sure you give it a little tap um, I don't want to give it such a huge tap because I don't want it to fall too much from the sides The plaster should dry in about an hour and you want to carefully remove the mud rock from the plaster. Once you've removed it, it's best to leave it for about one to two days for it to completely dry. You can smooth the surface by using some sandpaper and any sort of sharp tool to carve out any bits that you want to but don't sand it too much because you don't want to lose the detail. So once it's finished, you can paint it, you can varnish it, and if you don't have varnish, you can just use regular wood glue. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped you understand the process of face casting. If you have any questions regarding this process, do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.